What's up everyone? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Eric Castellano and in this video we're going to be covering OpenSea. All right, I know you're super excited to buy NFTs, but we're not buying anything yet because you got to understand the platform. You got to understand what you're looking at. We're going to review stats and rankings and projects and how to analyze these projects and double check their Twitter accounts and their Discord and make sure there's members in them, so on and so forth, so you can become knowledgeable and you're not investing your money in projects that are going to fail. I'm a firm believer that 90% of the NFT projects in a year or two from now will not exist, so you want to make sure you get into the right ones. So excited to deliver this information to you if you haven't subscribed yet smash that subscribe button see in the video stay with all right so when you open open C here you'll see that you can click explore which will take you to a page which has bunch of different NFTs on them but we're gonna go back here you can see drops these are projects that have just dropped and you can open this in a new tab and check out that project here's the project soul curry art you want to definitely be paying attention to verified collections uh, there's a process just like an Instagram verification or a Facebook verification or Twitter verification, right? OpenSea only gives the blue check mark to projects that are verified. I suggest only getting into blue check mark verified NFT projects. It just protects yourself um, because there's a reason why they haven't received their blue check. Uh, maybe it's brand new. Maybe they can't validate some of the project or the people behind it. So I prefer to just invest in blue check mark NFT projects. That's a personal preference. So, and then if you scroll down a little lower, they have some of the projects that are trending. I always like to explore over here and you could just click over and see other projects that are trending. And then here at the bottom, they have, you can browse by category. So collectibles, trading cards, utility. So the thing I'd like to show all of you is really where the research happens. So I like to always check on the rankings and now we have the top NFT projects sorted by volume. So here you can see CryptoPunks, the volume here it says 20,942. So this is in Ethereum, right? And, and just to give you an idea, if we go over to the CryptoPunks, which is larvalabs.com slash CryptoPunks, you can see that the cheapest you could buy a CryptoPunk right now is 115 Ethereum. The amount of total traded sales is 1.46 billion with a b dollars the amount of traded sales in the past week is 60 million dollars that's huge volume so i just really want to illustrate the wealth that's being exchanged in these nfts because it's important to recognize that a lot of these nfts are going to be part of our future and if you can get in now and just hold right or hold and when it goes up sell and buy something else you can be a part of the wealth exchange as well so we're going to slide back over here so like i said it's initially sorted by volume you could sort it by the 24 hour price increase you could sort it by the seven day price increase you could sort it by the floor price this is something i like to do frequently especially in that top 100 page i like to sort by floor price and then i like to start at the lowest floor price which here is 0 0.001 and then kind of research some of these projects see if there's any low-hanging fruit i can get into or you can get into but keep in mind you also have to pay attention to the assets and the owners so for example assets yes the sandbox has a floor price of 0 0.001 but it's also one of the highest volume assets that exist there's 101,000 nfts in this nft projects and if you sort by assets you'll see that there's not many projects that have over ten thousand, right so looks like there's only what do we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen let's say 25 you got about 22 to 25 projects that have over ten thousand nfts in them i really like to focus on the projects with less than 10,000 NFTs, that's just a personal preference. And if you look at the floor price of some of these NFT projects with more than 10,000 NFTs, you'll see that there's not many that have a high floor price, right? We got Mooncats, I actually own a Mooncat um, at 1.14. We got MeBits, which is the same creators of CryptoPunks, Larva Labs, which is 3.96, so it makes sense that's high. But other than that, and then we got Hashmask, which I actually own a Hashmask as well. Uh, we got Mutant 8 Yacht Club, a little higher. But, you know, some of these other projects that are over 10K, 
they're very low Ethereum with the exception of five or six that I just covered. You know, CyberCogs is a great one. Mutant Ape Yacht Club is a great one as well. But you can sort these by owners. You know, you can kind of see how many people own them. So for example, here we have uh, we'll look at this one. So each person owns about, in this case, about two NFTs, right? Because there's 16,000 of them, 9,000 owners. So it's a little less than half, right? So some people own one, but a majority of the people who own uh, this Mutant Ape Yacht Club NFT own two of them. Now, something else I like to do is really dive into other people's portfolios. So I like to follow people who have huge portfolios and you know you follow them on Instagram or Twitter and they talk about it and then you're like all right let me look up and see what they're holding so here for example we have Gary V you could see his over 3,000 collection of NFTs and you could kind of go through this he, I know he owns some crypto punks as well um, he's got some Matic apes he's 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 got a, a nice chunk of projects in here uh, but like this is really how you're going to learn more about the nft space by looking at what other people another guy i like to follow is ricky um this is phase banks it's his handle on instagram he's got a pretty heavy collection 114 uh, but he's got some great projects you know i learned a lot from this guy he's really turned me a lot so shout out to phase banks um but you know he's he's gotten into some great projects and i got into some great projects because of him like plasma bears creature world um, you know, he's got some board eight yacht clubs. We paid 27 Ethereum for this one and he's got offers already for five Ethereum more. So like he, he's got some, some, some good projects. He got into humanoids, um, which is cool. And I really like to explore that. Right. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to a project and I'm going to show you kind of how I research it and what I'm looking out for. So we'll, we'll go to SupDux. This is a project that I own. Um, I'm no way affiliated with them. I think it's just a nice example. So you can see they have 10,000 items, 3.1 thousand owners. So you can assume that each um, owner has about three subducts. Floor price is about 2.98 Ethereum, which is right around uh, $10,500. And the volume trade is 14,000 Ethereum, which is pretty hefty. You can read a little bit about them. Um, and what I like to do really is I will open a new tab and I want to check liquidity on these, right? Like, let's say I wanted to buy a subduck right now because I, I did my research. I believe in the project. I checked their Twitter account, which you definitely want to be checking. You want to make sure that it has followers, that it's active, that people are commenting, sharing their posts. You also want to go to their Discord. And over here, you could see the subduck Discord has about 15,000 members. Their Twitter has about 33,000 followers. You want to research the website, make sure the project has a website. You can see they got a website here, um, which you could explore the rarity and the team behind the project. Um, for example, here I own a Subduck, so my wallet's connected. Subducts produce Vault token, which is a whole nother story. You want to research these projects, so you got to check Discord, Twitter, website, Discord, Twitter, website, Discord, Twitter, website. I'm telling you, you want to be checking up on those. So what I would do is I want to check the, the activity on this Subduck project, right? So I would go type Subducks in this search bar over here, click here, and you're looking for, you want to make sure they have liquidity. Go Go all the way back to the beginning of time here and see what this project originally launched at and then you can kind of track its pricing and the fluctuation in pricing you know you can see the number of sales that are happening on any given day this one averages in the beginning it was averaging about 50 uh, to 100 sales a day and when it first dropped it was getting a lot of sales uh, but now you can see like even today you know uh, this was what yesterday it had 32 sales volume traded 92 Ethereum, it's a pretty hefty number there. You know, 33 sales, 36 sales. So people are trading these and then you wanna be looking at liquidity, right? What liquidity means is it's a tradable, a sellable project that you're getting into. The same thing, I hear it happen all the time. People buy cryptocurrency that's worth .00000005 dollars. So tens of thousands of a penny and they put $300 in it and all of a sudden it goes up 600%, 700%, 7,000% and they think they have $15,000 because 
it tells them they have $15, but they can't sell it because it has no liquidity. Nobody's willing to buy it. So you wanna make sure these projects have liquidity. And just looking here on the right, you can actually see every single sale and transaction that's happening on OpenSea. So 18 minutes ago, 29, 44 minutes ago, hour ago, two hours ago, two hours ago, two hours ago. And you can see all these transactions and what the people are buying and selling them for. So 3.15 Ethereum, 3.12 Ethereum, 3, 3 Ethereum, 2.7. So it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, if I was to be like, you know what? I believe in subducts. I want to purchase one of these. I would go here, right? Just thinking like basic level before we get into rarity or anything in the next video just want to go basic right like let's say floor price right now is 2.98 ethereum which it is and you're just like i want in on this project i know that the floor price in three four weeks is going to be five ethereum which i think it will be uh, i would just go to buy now right which means you could purchase it right now you don't have to put an offer on it there's no auction so buy now and you price low to high and this will show you any subduct that you can buy immediately right now. The first one, we'll go back there. The first one is subduct number 9413. Uh, this guy actually bought it for 4.4 Ethereum. Now he's selling it for 2.98. And you can go click here, buy now for $10,000. And then you would own this subduct. So if I click buy now, you're gonna see that I don't have enough funds in my account to purchase this yet. But the royalty for this project, so the creators of the project get 3% of every transaction. It's got the blue check, that's good. You can explore what people are offering on it right now. So these are current offers. Uh, you can see another graph with price and where the all-time average price is and then you can see who's owned it in the past and you can dive deep into that so this was just a quick little breakdown of how my mind operates when i'm analyzing products in open sea in the next video we're going to cover rarity what that is how you can use it to leverage your purchases and you want to make sure before you invest in any project check these three things the discord Twitter and their website. Make sure they have a roadmap, a white paper. Make sure there's information about the project, right? Because there's been some stories and recent projects where it's just pump and dumps. You don't want to get into a pump and dump because whatever you invested, you will lose. And make sure that what you're investing, you're comfortable losing. Just like any investment, whether it's stock, cryptocurrency, real estate, only invest what you're comfortable losing because none of these things are guaranteed, right? Stock prices fluctuate, crypto prices prices fluctuate, real estate prices fluctuate, and so do NFT prices. So we'll check in the next video. We're going to cover rarity and purchasing NFTs. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a beautiful day and stay lit.